Hello and welcome back everyone. It's been quite a while. Going to about one month since my last recording. Uh, if you're new on the channel, this is Frank. And on this channel, I try to attend to people's archicad issues. Alright, so in today's issue, we're looking at the use of card image specifically for roofing. Card image is a plugin for Archicad, an add-on that allows us to do a few things. I could do other videos as the day goes by on how you could use it for doors, for windows, for schedules and the rest. In this particular case, for roofing. Alright, so if you observe the roof we have here on this project, it's just flat, like there is this texture we have here on it, but it's not really convincing enough because if I were to switch this to the white model view, you can tell this is what we have. Now, there is an alternative that you can get with goodies. There's an Archicad add-on called goodies. If you were to go to your add-ons, which you can find by going to options, add-on manager, you can check and you should see something here called the goodies suite. Okay, it seems I have not installed it for this version. Please, for anyone who's not clear, I'm not even recording on my PC right now. And that's one of the reasons. Alright, but right now I'm interested much more in card image, specifically card image coverings. This is the one I require for that. So let's quickly dive into it. If you've not subscribed, please hit that button. And if you have anything you want me to do a video on, post it in the comments or in the description of this video you are going to find a link to our whatsapp community over there i'm able to also help out in real time for stuff i can do youtube videos about so it's not like i've not really been active that way i've been so much more active on the community than here on the channel in recent times and you could get direct access to me and others from there the purpose of the community is in case I can't help, there's definitely going to be someone over there who has experienced your problem and has a way around it. So let's quickly dive into it. So I'm going to click on this roof right here and tell Akikad, you know, this roof is what I want to act on. It's kind of how Akikad operates. If I were to change this wall, for example, from white to pink, I have to select the wall first. And so I'm going to pick this and then I am going to go to CI tools right here. I'm going to go into coverings and I'm going to go into the roof coverings and nothing happened now that's because I'm recording on version 28 if you are using 27 and below uh, it's going to pop up immediately in 28 you have to load in the CI tools that you want to utilize manually and how we do that is you're going to go to files then you're going to go into libraries and objects go into the library manager they are going to click on add right here and if you do not get to this folder by default if you're taking somewhere else i can direct you say for example i was taking somewhere here i'm going to go into this pc i'm going to go into my windows folder i'm going to go into the program files i'm going to go into the graphisoft folder and then i'm going to go into the archica 28 folder Alright, and over here I'm going to go into the Archica library packages. I'll double click on that. Oh, can so I did that too fast, but I'm already back here. And then right now I'm going to look for CI tools coverings flip pack. Then I also need the other one called macros. This macro is a support tool for this. So if I load this without this, it's not going to work. So I'm also going to load this in. For other things you might need for like cabinets or doors and windows and electrical you might need to load all of those manual one at a time as well for the sake of this video i am just loading coverings and i'm going to click open reload and apply that's going to take a minute and afterwards i click ok so i'll just pause the video after the loading i continue all right so i click ok now uh great and then when i go to ci tools coverings and i click on roof coverings you can see now that it says i should select it i thought i had selected it all right here 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 and that brings up this all right so i am going to go into cladding all right and over here 
and I'm going to switch it to the roof type that I want. For this particular project, I want to use ribbed metal. You are free to flex around and play with it, all the tools and find out what works for you. Now you can use a 3D preview here to get an idea of what's going to be happening on your roof. Alright, so instead of 150 for this D, I'm going to change this. You can use the labeling to also figure out what is what. I'm going to make mine 250. Alright, and then you can see the way it's adjusted on the preview right here. Oh, 200, I think 200 works better. Okay, and then you can set a color. In this case, I want to use anthracite. I really prefer that to my roof. Anytime I want a black roof, um, I need to take a call. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. And next, I'm going to go to the flashings. And you can see over here, there is this that we call the barge flashings, there is the hip flashings, there is the apron flashing, there is the valley flashing. If you don't know what these are, the barge flashings are these ones you find over here on the end. The hip flashings, if you have a hip roof, are the ones you find on the top, at the ridge of the roof. The apron flashings are the type you are going to have in a position like here. Alright? And then... We also have the valley flashing, which is going to be like a gutter where you have valleys meeting in a typical hip or gable roof system. Alright, so I'm going to change the values here a bit for the barge. I want my C to remain 150 and the D to also become 150. Alright, so you can observe that the D became bigger here. This view could also help. Um, Okay, I think the preview is not changing. If you are using an older version, by the way, the preview should change. I don't know why it took that away in version 28 of Cardimage, but I decided to make that clear. Alright, so I'm going to also switch the material here to be the same anthracite as I had used earlier, as we can see here. If you want to adjust the appends, you can also do that here. Please take note that it's just the badge flashing I changed. I also want an apron, which as you can see, is using the same material here. The difference now is I might want to make adjustments. I really like the sizes we have here, so I'm not going to touch them. Then I can move to the framing. Please, for anyone who might misunderstand, this framing is not for the entire roof. It generally just gives you the pore lines only. All right, or Pauline, however you space it, or however you pronounce it in your end. So, this guy, this is what it's going to give, and this is the spacing that it's going to have. I'm okay with this for these projects. I would want to make this 50 by 50, or let's see, 75 by 75. What I'm choosing 75 by 75 is with the assumption that it's going to be 3 by 3 wood for those of us in construction. Sometimes we use 2 by 3. I want 3x3 three three for this particular case. Alright, and that's not really something easy to find, but that's a different topic. And I'm going to switch the wood material to oak. I could use any of the other materials we have here. And then I can go to the soffits. I do not want any soffits for this. So rather than use flat soffits for this, I switch it to no soffits. Include an, I say no soffits, and then for this, I cannot take it away. For whatever reason, the option for that wasn't provided. What I choose to do is to switch this to zeros. And now, for anyone who might be wondering, I've been actually complaining bit by bit on one or two things that Cardimage is not doing. Cardimage is not being developed by Graphisoft, which is the company that makes Akikad. Cardimage is being made by Central Innovation, a different company. There are also other companies like Epta that makes other, um, what's it called, add-ons like reinforcement, styling, there is also model ports. There are a number of them. There's actually so many, I don't have them all here. I don't need them all. You could actually browse and check online for Akikad add-ons and know what might be useful to help you reduce the time spent on a lot of repetitive tasks. Alright, so I am going to go on to the edge boards. I do not want any edge board, so I switch this to no edge board and that quickly just runs through the rest, no edge board. Alright, gutter. I want a gutter at the back. I do not want a half round. I want a quarter round and you can see the shape here. You can adjust the dimensions as you see fit. I'm going to go with this as it is and I'm going to set the color to be the same anthracite paint. And 
lastly for the down pipes i want to ensure that they stick to that same color you know what down pipes are in nigeria we call them water collectors all right so there's no gable walls i don't really care about that there's no freeze there's no finial so i can ignore that if those apply to whatever you are doing also check out your settings and have fun with this don't look at it as one really um stressful thing to work with all right so when i check back here on plan i can see that there's this greenish outline for the roof i don't want that i really want everything to be gray so i'm going to override the object pens and switch it to this gray right here and yeah that works all for me so once i click ok Akikad is going to take about a minute and it's going to apply everything all right so we can see this here we can see this face here now many of the times Akikad is unable to correctly identify the different edges of the roof so i'm going to have to click on this all right and then i'm going to go to a tool that is said to be the roof edges so if I say edit roof edges here, I'm going to see this in plan view. The arrow tells me where the lower portion is. So there is a gutter here. Akikad puts one barge here, one barge here, and a junction here. That is wrong. That is not what I want. I want a barge here. I'm oh, sorry. I want a barge here. Then I want an apron here. I want another apron here. And once I do this and click OK, what's going to happen is now we have a badge right here now we have this apron right here uh my navigation seems to be problematic all right so this over here to ensure that water doesn't leak into that region uh one other thing i can tell so far which i'll be doing later on on my home is i have to raise the height of this wall so that this is not going to be more exposed i could also reduce the roof pitch but I don't want to go below this, this origin acceptable value. Uh, let's switch this to the simple shading where it's colored. And unlike the flat thing we had before, now we can see a roof with actual geometry, which is much more realistic, does so much better in our renderings, and of course, is quite a time saver as compared to if you were going to model that manually. If you gain value from this video, leave a like, or if there's something you don't understand, put that in the comment sections, or join in the community, and as long as you have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I also look forward to seeing you in the next one. Goodbye for now.